Coming up on today's show, Fiat unveils the new Doblo minivan, the pros and cons of a flat plane crankshaft engine, and I'll take you back inside the Autoline garage. All that and more coming right up on Autoline Daily. This is Autoline Daily for December 12, 2014. Fiat just redesigned its Doblo minivan. And talk about versatility. It comes in two wheelbases, 11 body colors, and two different seat configurations, either five or seven seats. You also get a choice of gasoline, diesel, or propane-fueled engines. It also shows the Chrysler influence, such as the Uconnect infotainment system. And Mopar will offer 100 accessories specific to the new Doblo, including ski racks and alloy wheel rims. The Doblo will go on sale in 29 countries, and it's made in Bursa, Turkey. As the saying goes, if someone likes something, he or she may tell a few of their friends, but if they don't like it, they'll tell everyone. The same goes for cars. But which brands are customers most likely to buy again? Because we may not hear about the good ones. As Consumer Reports found out in its new Owner Satisfaction Study, luxury brands dominate the first six spots, with Tesla on top. But we all know that someone that just spent a bunch of money doesn't want to admit that they bought a piece of crap. Some of the brands that surprised us were Ram, Dodge, Subaru, and Chevy, most of which are always at the bottom of CR's reliability study, but were all ranked in the top 15 by owners. Audi is the top-selling luxury brand in China, partly because it's the favorite brand of government and military officials. In fact, it became too popular, prompting a new rule that prevents those officials from buying foreign brand cars. Now, any government money has to be spent on Chinese cars, but that does not upset Audi. Rupert Stadler, the CEO of Audi, tells Autoline, he points out that 90% of Audi sales in China go to private customers. He says they're also localizing more production in China, which will cut costs. And he says they'll make up for lost government sales because the luxury segment in China will grow to 12% of all sales, up from 9% today. Still to come, understanding the new flat plane engine in Ford's Mustang GT350. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone. Your journey, our passion. And by Dow Automotive Systems. Improving durability and increasing design flexibility with Betamate structural adhesives at DowBetamate.com. When Ford announced that the new Mustang GT350 would come with a flat plane crankshaft V8 engine, I'm sure that left some of you wondering, what the heck does flat plane crankshaft mean? Well, the connecting rods are attached to the crankshaft at 180 degree intervals rather than the normal 90 degrees. Ford went this route because it has advantages for racing applications and it really wants the GT350 to be a track focused car, much like the new Camaro Z28. Not to mention all those rumors of it going back to Le Mans with some variation of this engine and the all new Ford GT. The crankshaft in a flat plane engine is not as heavy as one in a traditional engine and the piston stroke is typically shorter, which means that it can rev quicker, higher, and make more power. The crankshaft is also not as large, so the engine height is shallower. Thus, it can be mounted lower in the car, which will improve handling. Another advantage is that it can have an alternating firing order from the left to right side of the engine. This makes for a more efficient design because it allows the engine to better draw in air and then exhaust the burned air fuel mixture. By now you may be wondering, why aren't flat plane engines used more often? That's because they have their disadvantages too. Due to their natural makeup, flat plane engines vibrate more, which the average customer doesn't like. This can also lead to a shorter engine life. But in racing applications, this is more acceptable. They also don't produce as much torque, mostly because the larger and heavier crankshaft in a typical V8 creates more leverage and has a longer stroke. But again in racing, the high revving nature of a flat plane engine can be more desirable out on the track. And lastly, just packaging these engines into a car can be very difficult 
because the exhaust manifold is more complicated, kind of like a bundle of snakes all together, which is needed for that efficient design of drawing in air and exhausting gases. These engines are very interesting, and I even learned a thing or two when doing the research, but I hope this gave you a better understanding of a flat plane crankshaft engine. Coming up next, an easy way to restore engine power and increase fuel efficiency. There's so much to love about Bridgestone's Dueler tires. The amazing traction, the quiet, comfortable ride, and they're really tough. It's like loving three tires in one. Have you noticed lately that your car isn't quite performing like it used to? That could be due to a number of reasons. But did you know that you could get it back to like new just by filling up once or twice with a higher grade of gasoline? Auto Line Garage is brought to you by Bridgestone. Your journey, our passion. Most people will fill up with the lowest grade of gasoline just because it's the cheapest. But it will leave behind contaminants that will build up over time on parts like intake valves and fuel injectors. This can rob the engine of power, increase emissions, lower fuel economy, and you may not even notice it happening. Not to mention that these deposits can build up by the time you need your first tire rotation. But by filling up with the highest grade of gasoline, it can clean these contaminants off and restore the power to the engine and increase that fuel economy. That's because the higher the grade of gasoline, the more cleaning detergents are added to the blend. Now don't think I'm trying to make you go fill up with more expensive fuel. Buying the lower grade most of the time is not a bad thing, but I would say that you should fill up with premium every time you rotate your tires or about every 15,000 miles. I like to go to that place that shares its name with an object you might find on the beach. Now you can get similar or maybe even better results with a fuel tank additive, but I would say this route is easier. First off, it's going to cost you about the same amount of money, in some cases even less, and you don't have to stumble through intake cleaners, injector cleaners, or sea foam, and you don't have to make a trip to the parts store to get it. So the next time you're at the pump, why not fill up with a tank of the good stuff? you may just notice a big difference. For Autoline Garage, I'm Sean McElroy. But that wraps up today's show. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. Wards is the industry leader for news, data, and analysis. That's why companies across the globe subscribe to our premium service, maybe even your own. Log in for subscriber access now. Check your company's intranet for details and rely on wardsauto.com to keep you informed.